Hi peeps, thanks for stopping by. Hope you're all having a great day. Uh, this is a Saturday smoothie video and today's is going to be apple pie smoothie. And the reason why I've chosen apple pie smoothie is because apples are in season. And when you're making smoothies, you want to either use frozen fruit when it's out of season or you want to buy fruit that's in season. So apples are in season, oranges are coming into season, pears are in season, uh, pomegranates are in season. So that's you know what you want to try to put in. And if you can't, don't bother buying a container of blueberries for $7 because they're not going to taste good anyway. So use frozen blueberries, okay? And I also like a cold smoothie. So to have a cold smoothie uh, and use fresh frozen fruit is great. Okay, so today we're making the apple pie smoothie. So what you'll need to do the night before, and this is very important, <clears throat> is you're going to take an apple, half of an apple, okay? This is the other half of the apple. And I'm using an Empire apple because that's my favorite apple. But you can use, you can mix your apples too. You can use a little Granny Smith. You can use um, Macintosh, Cortland, Fuji, whatever apple you like the flavor of the most or an apple you would use to bake an apple pie. So I'm going to use the Empire apple. And what I do the night before is I put it in a microwave safe dish and I cut up half of the apple and I just put a drizzle of water in here and you'll see there's like a little syrup that's collected in here that makes the smoothie yummy and then I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of cinnamon and I put it in the microwave for just about two minutes depending on your microwave you'll have to play around but you want them to be soft you don't want them to be applesauce just yet okay you want them to just to the point where you could make applesauce if you wanted so you'll have to do this the night in advance keep them in the refrigerator until you're ready to use them you want them ice cold okay, okay. so I'm going to take my spatula and I'm just going to put those apples in and I'm going to try to get all the little cinnamon syrup in there also okay so just scrape as much as you can into that and then you're going to add the rest of the apple chopped up okay so there's that first let me say you must start with some liquid i put in one cup of almond milk this is the unsweetened version i prefer the silk brand you can use any type of milk you like you can use cow's milk uh, rice milk any kind anything you like um, go right ahead and use it oat milk and you'll need one cup now this smoothie you don't want to put too much liquid in because the apple will put its own juices in and make your smoothie too thin Okay, so that's what we're going to do. Then, uh, like in the pumpkin pie smoothie, I have frozen my Greek vanilla yogurt. Your choice. You want to make sure it's either low fat or non fat. And you want to buy a brand that's not loaded with any artificial chem um, like uh, high fructose corn syrup. So you want to buy the brand you like best. Okay, this I think is Stonyfield. It does have sugar in it, but it's... Um, it's better than using uh, high fructose corn syrup or, you know, uh, aspartame that's in a lot of yogurts, okay? Now, I freeze this in one of these. Now, somebody had asked me in a comment, didn't my fruit, didn't my frozen things pick up a nasty taste? I have never experienced that. I wash these by hand with soap and water, and um, I've never had any problem with it tasting funny, okay? I don't put them in the dishwasher. Maybe that's the problem. So I have uh, five of these, which equals about a half a cup. <clears throat> put that in there. Now, usually I use a vanilla bean, and that is my preference. I love fresh vanilla beans in my smoothie. But today, I'm going to add something a little different. Uh, I, you can use, if you want the expense, you can use a vanilla bean. Or you can uh, use pure vanilla extract. And this I buy at Marshall's because pure vanilla extract is very expensive. This bottle was $12.99 and it's a pretty large bottle. You can use a teaspoon of that. But today I am going to use what is called a pure vanilla bean paste. Now again, it does have a very small amount of sugar in it, but it's not enough to keep me away from it, okay? Uh, sugar in, in an active lifestyle a little bit is okay. All right, now I wanted to tell you, in the grocery store, this will probably be about $10 and in Williams-Sonoma the same. Well, I went over to my home goods 
at TJ Maxx, it is identical. It is the same brand, okay? The label's a little different, but it's the same brand, okay? Pure vanilla bean paste. It's not the Madagascar, but big deal. Who cares? All right, so this one here is $5.99, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a, about a teaspoon of this, and I'll tell you on the back, one tablespoon of vanilla paste, paste equals one tablespoon of vanilla extract or one vanilla bean. I'm going to put in a half teaspoon. Try to be careful when you're pulling this out because if you're not, it will get sticky around the uh, rim and the sugar will crystallize and then you'll have a hard time getting your top off. So like I said, this is a half teaspoon of vanilla paste if you're using uh, vanilla extract you're just going to put the same amount equal amounts in a vanilla bean I would put half a vanilla bean in there okay so that's that now I'm going to use up the rest of my chia seeds which are soaked and I gotta say these have been in the fridge for about two weeks this is the last of that same batch that I made a while ago okay so it does last longer so I'm just putting a tablespoon of that for all of the chia seeds nutrients the fiber <coughs> the healthy fats that we need in our diet Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit of coconut, and this one I'm using a half teaspoon. And I like coconut oil for the creaminess it adds to the smoothies, and also uh, it's medium chain fatty uh, acids. It helps to burn uh, calories also. It's good for lots of things. And I'm just using my the rest of my living proof, but I did go to... Um, <clears throat> my home goods stores and bought some raw organic coconut. I've opened it up and I've smelled it. It smells beautiful. It is an organic raw extra version and these jars were $9.99 each. I pay almost $30 for this and it's the same size so I've thought why not give it a go. Okay, You can save money and still make beautiful smoothies. You can peeps. Okay, So now I'm going to take my apple pie spice and I'm going to take a half teaspoon, well this is about a quarter teaspoon, and I'm just going to put in probably a level amount of it, about a quarter teaspoon, a little bit less. Depending on how much apple pie spice you like, you let it roll. Do what you like in your smoothie. Now I prefer a little much stronger, a little bit stronger, <clears throat> three, two, one. I prefer to have a little bit of extra cinnamon in my smoothie. So I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit, probably comes out to be a pinch of cinnamon in here. Cinnamon is very, very good for regulating blood sugar, good stuff. The next thing I'm going to use is my Terra's Whey Organic Whey Protein Powder. It's gluten free and it is the organic bourbon vanilla flavor. And I'm gonna put two scoops in because that's a serving of this. Now you can use any type of protein powder you like. You can use rice protein, soy, anything you like. This is me. I don't like soy. Now I'm not going to add this to my smoothie, but I do add it to Lou's. If you wanted, you could add a half cup of raw oats, um, just your regular old oats. You would just put in there and blend away. That's why you would need a, a good blender so that you're not getting little chunks in your smoothie. You want it to be nice, smooth, and creamy. So you can go ahead and add this. This is very heart healthy. Of course, we all know that oatmeal has a lot of fiber in it and it helps to uh, sweep out and it will also keep you fuller, but it helps to keep the cholesterol under control. Okay, so that's a good heart healthy food. Now here's another thing that I don't use a lot because it has Splenda in it. But every now and then, I like a decadent smoothie. Now I'm not going to put it in this smoothie uh, this morning because I do have another smoothie I'm going to use it in. And like I said, I don't like to use this on a daily basis. But I was at, and I've tried other brands, this one here is the nicest brand. And it is made with Splenda. For those of you who do not want any artificial ingredients, you will not like this. But this is the salted caramel, and uh, I have a smoothie that I'll be making um, in the weeks to come using this. But if you wanted to, and you don't mind using a lot of Splenda, because some people have it on a daily basis in their coffee, and it doesn't really bother me. And I feel to each his own. We are all adults, and we can make our own decisions, and nobody needs to be really told what they can and cannot consume if you're an adult. Don't feed this to your children, okay? 
All right, so you would put about a tablespoon of this in, and then you would have a salted caramel apple pie smoothie. Okay, I purchased this at Home Goods for that amount of money. And if I'm not mistaken, this is the brand that Starbucks uses. So I am going to go ahead. Did I put everything in there? I did. Everything is there, peeps. Okay? So let's get blending away. <clears throat> Turn it on, smoothie setting, go for it. Okay, peeps, she's all done mixing up, so now I'm going to put her in a glass. I decided I would use a glass today, just to make those of you who like pretty glasses happy. All right, so we're going to smooth it. Now remember, this will be a little bit thinner. You can even add less almond milk if you would like. I can smell the apples. It smells like an apple pie. It truly does. Uh, this is a serving for me. I will put in an annotation what the calorie count is. I won't do that for every smoothie, but if my fit pal, my fitness pal can figure it out, I will definitely put it in. But anyway, here you have a beautiful apple pie smoothie. Let me give her a taste. Oh, it's so good, peeps. Mmm. I love apple season. I love fall for apples. Mm. Peeps, this is so good. Go get yourself mm, an apple pie smoothie. Good stuff, peeps. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, subscribe. We're having a great time here. Anti-aging. Uh, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. Most of all, peeps, be lovable. Be lovable. I love you all. Bisous, my friends. I'll see you more this week. Bisous.